Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on Bugley, our T25, T3 Caravel. Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you may have heard that she's a little bit tappily, or he's a little bit tappity. Uh, so I had the rockers off and uh, all the rocker covers off and I thought I'd check and found that they were a little bit loose. So I'll go through on the other side, the procedure for setting it up or setting up the tappets and um, Welcome along and you can check yours maybe, we'll see. So the tools you're going to need for today are 15mm spanner, combination, all ring, doesn't matter. Uh, a nice screwdriver, probably your favourite flatted screwdriver. Something to lie on, because, well, I need something to lie on because I'm old. Um, some rags to clean up and if you've got some, some gloves and a good light. But I can't show you the light because it's lighting me up at the moment. You will also need two rocker cover gaskets. Nice new ones. Okay, let's crack on. Okay, so where I like to start is by whipping off the distributor cap. There's two little clips. It's a lot easier to do with two hands, but you get the idea. that out of the way. He's just said and done. Right, let's put that up there. Right, now the orientation of the clips and that and that lug which clips onto. Right, so I have done this already but rotate your crankshaft with a, on the a socket on the uh, crank pulley. I don't know what size it is. 30mm that says, so hopefully yours is the same. You can set it to the top dead centre um, and that'll be starting on number one cylinder. But what I've done is I've rotated it and I'm hoping you can see there's a tiny little, see the little notch there? So just line up, if, you, if I go in line you can see, line up your rotor arm with that little notch and then if you're not sure which cylinder you want to do, look at where that one points in comparison. So it's that one. Then just follow your lead over to that end and then you know that that cylinder, or that lead, is top dead centre. So you can set the tappets on that. I've done this side, sorry. I didn't think of making a video. So now we move on to this side. So I'm going to rotate this until I get one of these leads. One of these there. So just rotate it. I'm rotating it anti-clockwise. So I won't show you that, but I'll get it in the right place and then we can pop off the uh, rocker cover. So I've rotated it around until the timer mark is up there on the half joint of the crankcase. Now if we lift this off, we can see the rotor arm is pointing to that cylinder there. So follow the lead. Full lead, so we know that this one should be loose. Right, let's go under and take the rocker cover off. We're under the bus, so I'm just going to put some rags underneath just in case there's a bit of uh, rippage. We know it should be this one that's loose, so let's pop it off. Famous last words, so I've just got to go. Oh, they're a bit tight. I'll have to clean them up. You want them nice and loose, really. Or well, moving easy, anyway. A bit, bit of oil out. And there we have it. Look, these. Hope you can hear that and see that. Shouldn't actually be loose if you've got hydraulic tappets. They should be have a compression on them, so we need to set them up. To start with, just undo that one. Oh, it's tight. Ugh. Actually, there's a bit of a clue on that one because that one's quite a long way out. So that, that one isn't, but. All right, let's back them both off. And make sure those nuts are loose on the threads. 
There we go. So the idea is, is we wind these in until they just touch the valve, these screws, and then wind them two further turns. So let's get them to touch. It's a bit of a feel thing this, hard to explain. So we've got still got a slap there. No slap, it's well, it's just touching now. I can just feel it, just touching. So that's sort of from my eye, that's about five o'clock. So we've got to do two full turns, half, one, one and a half, two. Let me nip that or tighten that up. up. That nut. So it was at five o'clock, about five o'clock ish. So then hold that one still. Tighten them up. Do the same for this one. Get a feel, it's just touching. So that is three o'clock. So half, one, one and a half, two. That's three o'clock, and then tighten up the lock nut. Yeah, and that's them two done. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go up and turn the crankshaft half a turn backwards, and that should put this these two to top dead centre. So the timing marks are at the bottom now. I'm just checking the rotor arm and it's pointing to this cylinder here. And, and look, that one's not as loose, but that one's loose as well. So we need to adjust those two. So we're just going to repeat the process we did on those two to those two. And there we go. All compressed. But you need to make this, make sure this is perfectly dry with your rag. Put the little spring clip back on. Now if it's a bit loose and you've suffered from uh, leaks you can tweak these in a bit by bending them a little bit in a vise. That's it. Make sure that's dry. Rocker cover with a new gasket. Make sure this is lovely and dry underneath. Slip it on there. And then Prize it on up. Oh, that's better, nice and tight. Lovely. What I like doing is just rotating it a few times, making sure there's no clunky noises or anything, make sure I haven't done anything daft. So I've done that. Next, we need to put the distributor cap back on. Now, 
if you can see, there is a little, little step there. There. So that's got to go into that little lug. Well, sorry, there's a little lug there. It's got to go in the step on the distributor there. And that will just stop that moving like that. We get our distributor cap, wiggle it back on. And again, that's got a lug the same. So that's nice and tight. Well, not nice and tight, but it won't rotate. And do the clips up. Just push them up. That's on. Right, that's ready to start. Right guys that's it for that one I'm very pleased with what's happened on ours it's it's quieted up lovely um, and obviously I only showed you one side of the engine you'd have to repeat it for the other which I've done um, it also must be noted that you shouldn't have to do this very often if you if you do it and then a while goes and it starts happening again you know if you're using it continuously if you don't use the bus very often it will get rattly they, they do, they get rattly, you take them on a nice long trip, give them nice and hot, give them some jip, they'll, they'll get better. But if you have to do it more than once, it's not a regular thing, it's not something you need to do every service. If that's happening, you might be um, suffering from some cam wear, you know, as the lobes, you know, you might be wearing the lobes on the cam, uh, which obviously open up the clearances on the, the, the rocker, oh, on the rockers, on the rockers to the valves which may be happening here. I, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see if it gets rattly again. Then I'll have to, might have to do something about it. Or there may be some issues with your hydraulic tappets. I noticed on one of the tappets on that side, I could, once I touched the valve with the, with the screw, I could just squish it a little bit. So I'm wondering if that one's getting a little bit weak. So something we've got to keep a look at. Anyway, I hope this was of some use to you. It's not a difficult job, just a few simple tools. Um, main things are make sure everything's tight, turn it over after you finish, make sure there's no horrible noises, and um, use new rocker cover gaskets. And also remember, you can tweak those uh, little clips to get them a bit tighter to put in on the rocker cover gaskets. So, hopes of use for you. If it was, give us a thumbs up, please, if you want. Think about subscribing if you want to. Um, We've always got loads of videos going on. I, I try and do as many as I can. Obviously, I'm working full time, so I just sort of squeeze them in and around as I can. Um, also, don't forget, we've got our Instagram account at larks underscore workshop. And I hope to see you soon. Cheers then.